I'm going to show you how to get a horse in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So I'm at the first town, the whatever landing place. There's this guy on the south side of town named Lester. Talk to him to talk about, um, were you hoping to register a horse? And he says, uh, we're getting things together on that front, so I'm afraid you'll have to hold your horses a little while longer. Ask about registering a horse. If you register a wild horse as your own, you can call that horse at a stable whenever you please. At bigger roadside stables, not only can you register horses, but you can also stay the night. We didn't have room to build something fancier, but I did want a place I could properly take care of horses. Which is why Carson from Hudson Construction is planning to build us a mini stable. Once it's finished, you'll be able to register board and take out horses just like you would at any other stable you say got it okay so that's like your first hint be sure to bundle up if you're going to hebra the colder there is intense okay so this guy's like your first hint at the start of the game to tell you about horses but you won't be able to do it here though and you won't be able to steal these horses either unfortunately so what you can do is first off if you come across a horse you can just get on it it's kind of complicated i'll explain in a second but what we really need to do now is we need to find a stable so, I'm going to follow the road, and I'm going to show you where the stable is. I'm actually going to skip ahead to where the stable is. So, before you head over to the stables, there's the town I was just in, Lookout Landing. I head out south, and there's just wild horses out here. And you'll find these all over the place. And you should be able to just get one on one right away. But uh, it's kind of hard when they're like this. They're in a group of three like this. So, what you need to do is run over to their backside, and then approach from behind. But the problem is when they're in a group like this is that if one of them sees you, they all run, and they all have a very wide range of vision. So you may have to just try over and over and over again until you can actually get up without spooking one. Like that, they all just ran off, unfortunately. So then you just gotta wait for them to stop running, and then try again and again and again. So I stood perfectly still, and one kind of walked right back, back right, walked right at me, which was kind of weird. And I actually could have mounted him right then, uh, but I wasn't gonna do it, because I wanted to do it the more normal way, which is to actually just wait all you gotta do is get close enough to try they may buck you off it's it's a lot of effort to get on one of these so here they are again but i'm not i don't think i'm gonna be able to get on them because they're facing each other sideways so the one's gonna see me uh and then there's a random enemy spawn well that's 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 actually extremely unlucky there's an enemy spawner there but yeah if one of them sees you then all of them run pretty much all right we're gonna try again here maybe we'll get lucky this time maybe if we go and then stop and go and then stop when he turns when he turns his head maybe i just stop Maybe it's when they look up like that, you don't move. Okay, he's not paying attention. And I don't know, I spooked him. Um, God, it's actually, it's, it's, a, it's really hard to get on a horse. So the real trick to it, it turns out, is to not push your thumbstick all the way and just walk extremely slowly. It's actually about the sound you're making. There's a sound meter at the bottom right. It also does matter which way they're looking and if there's tall grass or not. But the thing is, you gotta walk the absolute slowest walk that you can walk in order to get a chance for it, in order to get on them. Also, you might want to, at the last second, just, you know, get up and walk and jump on. And that, that might also be helpful. Alright, this is the one. We're gonna slowly creep up. And of course, he turned to the side. That's like the worst case scenario of what he could do. Alright, walk up slowly, and then once we get about this close... Sprint and grab him. There we go. And that's what you gotta do. And then you gotta press L a bunch to soothe. You start spamming L. And if you're unlucky, he'll kick you off. You'll run out of stamina, and then he'll kick you off. So you've gotta go and spam L as fast as you can. But thankfully, now that that happened, it somehow separated the horses. So I can actually get to this one separately now. Looking around. Just gonna kill for a second. And then get on him. And he kicked me. Okay, well, that's unlucky. You gotta try, though. I mean, they may kick you, they may whatever, but you've gotta keep trying. All right, here we go again. Wow, that, okay, that is great. Oh, wow, the work that ran right next to me. All right, spam an L. We're gonna die while I'm doing this. Okay, I pressed L enough, and um, I, I did it, but then, of course, this evil monster tree just decided that uh, no fun for me. All right, let's do it again. All right, walk up very slowly. And once we get about this close, sprint and jump on him. All right, so this one was already soothed at this point. So we're just going to keep spamming soothe. And uh, at this point, I think he's kind of good. Um, and then from there, press A to go. 
And now you'll have a horse, which will make it way faster to get to the stables that I'm going to show you. And also, that's how you uh, grab a horse. Now, if he starts freaking out, start soothing him. He'll randomly fight you because he's brand new. Like, he's not very tame yet. And I don't know if there's any way to actually see his tameness just yet. But when he starts fighting you like that, then you're just going to want to, you know, start... Um soothing him every time so he starts bucking his head and you feel a lot of resistance just spam soothe or just spam soothe the entire time as you go i mean i don't know that there's any penalty to just spam it so i'm just gonna keep spamming he's freaking out again all right we're good press go and you'll just kind of do this as you go in order to slowly tame him and then also we're gonna head to a stable so eventually you'll come across this place so we're over here to the west so from Lookout Landing, you're going to follow this road, you're going to follow it up here, and then from here, I don't have the map yet for it, but I'm going to go over to right around here on the map. When you get here, there will be one of these places. And then what you're going to do is, while on a horse, you can hold uh, ZL to look at this guy, and then press A to talk to him. So I've got Wegono Stable, my deal, we deal in all, all things horse related, we also double as an inn. Seems you're not a member yet. Our stable uses Stable Association's membership system, so you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask for your name? Give me your name. Link. All right, Mr. Link. There. You're all signed up. Now, would you like me to tell you about the stable system? You, if you want to, tell me and we'll go through it. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register, it'll become your horse companion. There's a limit to how many horses you can board, but you're able to swap them in and out as you please. Once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. Now, how can I help you? Um, so, I, you could say catching horses, but I already showed you how to do it, so I don't need him to explain. So, once you have a horse, you bring it here. After your initial dialogue, you'll press register horse. If you're on the horse, there'll be an option for register horse. If it's understood, your horse will be in good hands. And it'll show the stats of your horse. This one's actually pretty darn good. Look at that speed force strength sucks though, but um, temperament wild. All right, you sure you want to register? So this is also where you can see the stats of your horse. So you can have fun catching different horses and bringing them in like this to see uh, if you want to keep them or not. And also that, that bond is what you do to where eventually he'll stop fighting you all the time. So I already just on the process of getting here, my bond already is really high. And so it doesn't take very long to get a horse to where it's not being like being a jerk. All right, you sure you want to register? Yes. All right, normally when you register a horse, you charge 20 rupees, but we've got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your four, first horse for free. I'll move on to the registration process. First, please enter a name for your horse, and this is where you name your horse. So you just name it whatever you want. I'll just give it this name. And then hit OK or hit plus. If you want to name it that, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Name registered, you want to take it with you or board it? Um, so I'm going to take it with me. All right, that concludes the registration process. Speaking of which, do you know about whistling? If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it'll come running. So if you didn't know, you can press down on the D-pad in order to whistle, but the horse isn't magic. It, can hear you. it can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. So it's not like Elden Ring where you just summon your horse anywhere. It's like you actually kind of got to stay with them somewhat. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. So pony points. That's right. It's a reward system you can use at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, and stuff like that. Because you used new Serene Stable for the first time and registered a horse with us, you get two pony points. Alright, using a stable earns points, collecting points grants rewards, points needed for the next reward, one. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, membership rules, and other information. Come back again anytime. And that's the dialogue for that. That's a tutorial part for that. Um, I'm going to press... Um, what is that? That's uh, X. It's X to get off the horse. Oh my gosh. I hit freaking switch controllers. Okay. So examining this, uh, you can hit receive reward. And you talk what points. If you save it just one more point, you'll receive a towing harness. Very useful item. You can use it to hook up your horse to various things. Appreciate your patrons. So you can't really go through... Oh, I can read the ledger. Okay. Um, points and rewards. All right, one point to receive towing harness. Um, so it says I can check the card to find out. So let's see if that's true. I open the inventory and look at the pony points card. Okay, I actually skimmed too fast, and that's, that's apparently not what it said. Uh, so we're going to read the ledger again. And then points and rewards, and it said... Remember, you can also check your pony points card to see how many points are needed to work. Okay, so there's not really a, a way to see what all the upcoming rewards are. 
So I'll have to make a video on that in the future once I've gotten all of them or something. I'll make a Pony Points Rewards Guide or something. But anyway, guys, that's that's this video. So go over to this guy, press A to mount, and then A to go, L to soothe, uh, ZL to reset the camera, and then down on the left thumbstick in order to stop when you're going full speed. And that's it, guys. So get out there, make tame your horses. That's how to do it. If you wanted to tame a horse, have a horse, get your own pet horse or board a horse, how to use the stables, all that. Now you know how to do all of that uh, in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.